This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. From Dead Zone to Oscar Bait, we've got it covered. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Free Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. As the temperatures begin to drop, Ooh, finally, the movie industry begins to gear up to the Oscar window, where Oscar award worthy films are scheduled as close as possible to award season so they're not forgotten. You know, and it's kind of weird this year because there have been a couple that have come out already. Right. But. But before that, we have the dead zone between the summer blockbuster season and Oscar season, <laughs> which is essentially the fall. Yes. So let's take a look at the contenders. Starting on September 23rd, The Magnificent Seven, which got 64% on Rotten Tomatoes. Of course, it's a remake of a remake. Yes. The original being Seven Samurai. Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt. Ethan Hawke. Now, I've seen some of the previews for this, and it actually looks pretty good, but I'm not going to go see it. No, nah, no. Nah. Storks, which deliver babies, wackiness ensues, it's yes. animation from the WB, uh, voices of Andy Samberg, Kelsey Grammer, Kean Peel. It's interesting that it comes out, as we're taping this, it's going to come out this week. There are no reviews yet, which tells me it's probably embargoed. <laughs> So it's probably not very good. Yeah, because that's what happens when studios are like, ooh, we don't think this is good at all. We know reviews are going to kill first week sales, so we're going to push the reviews back as far as we possibly can. I'm guessing this is a good kids movie, but that's about it. Right. September 30th, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, based on the fantasy novel, Tim Burton directs, Mm -hmm. Samuel L. Jackson, Judi Dench, Rupert Everett. I think that might be better than, not the movie is better than they think, but it might perform better just because so many people love the book. I don't know. Yeah. Deepwater Horizon, which has 85% on Rotten Tomatoes so far, an oil rig disaster drama, Mark Wahlberg, Kurt Russell, John Malkovich, and Kate Hudson. Mm. That really doesn't all that interest me either. Yeah. You know what happens at the end. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Masterminds, a crime caper comedy with Owen Wilson, Zach Galifianakis, Kirsten Wig, and Will Smith. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's just not... It's not my cup of tea, but it'll probably do pretty good. I'm guessing it will. October 7th, The Girl on the Train, a mystery thriller that's already been getting a lot of ads. And it's based on a, a book. Right. Emily Blunt. Justin Theroux, and Allison Janney. I have to go see that with the women from my book club. (laughs) The Birth of a Nation, which has 84% on Rotten Tomatoes so far, a controversial slave drama. Of course, it's named for the 1915 racist silent film. But is it, how is it related to that? Do you know? I don't think it's all that much related to it, other than it's during the same period. Okay. I, you know, I don't know if they picked the title to generate controversy or what. Nate Parker, Army Hammer, Gabrielle Union. Uh, I'm thinking this is Oscar bait. Yes. It's a little early for Oscar bait, but as you said, there are some some other ones that came out already that. You know, maybe some filmmakers are deciding that this dead wasteland actually isn't. And right. they can put things out here that will get attention because... It's not buried with everything else. Yes. October 14th, The Accountant, about an undercover CPA who works for criminal organizations. See, that sounds like a comedy. And it isn't. But it isn't. Because it's Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, and J.K. Simmons. Um, I've seen, actually, a quick promo for it that involved him shooting a lot of guns and things. It's like... I don't quite understand, but he's also, like, he's uh, really neurotic, and yeah. it's, yeah, I, oh. I don't get it. October 21st, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, which I wish he would have never gone back. <laughs> Tom Cruise returns as the diminutive action hero, with Kobe Smolders as the damsel in distress this time. I see Kobe Smolders as like being a foot taller than Tom Cruise. I'm guessing. I'm guessing there are a lot of apple boxes involved in this production. <laughs> Keeping up with the Joneses, the neighbors are spies in this comedy, 
Zach Galifianakis, uh, Isla Fisher, John Hamm, and Gal Gadot. That's one that I think, oh, I wish this would be funny, but it's not going to be my cup of funny. No, I, I don't see that happening. October 28th, Inferno. Yet another Dan Brown novel comes to the screen. Yawn. Tom Hanks, Felicity Jones, Ron Howard's directs. You know, Tom Hanks sort of has an obligation to be in these yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think that, that his Oscar bait is really like the Sully, which probably isn't really going to be Oscar no. this year. But no. something else will come out. Well, Sully probably isn't because it got so much controversy in that people are like, this is nowhere near what actually yeah, happened. There really wasn't a controversy yeah. about Sully. Yeah, and and the producers are like, well, it's not a documentary. We have to create conflict. Like, If you didn't have conflict, go find another story that has conflict, conflict in it. Conflict and do it, yeah. Uh, don't teach people that you know or uh, show or make it a biopic is the life story of sully up to the point of yeah, uh -huh. the crash you know. know november 4th dr strange marvel sorcerer supreme and yet another marvel movie i am going to go see this because because of benedict cumberbatch <laughs> rachel adams tilda swinton and chiwetel uh, uh, for in that one november 11th Arrival, which has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, although it isn't coming out for like two months. But you know, how many reviews is that based on? Did you look? It's well, they don't they don't make an official Rotten Tomatoes rating until they have enough of them. Okay. It's not like one person did it, but you, yeah, 100% seems very high. Yes. A Close Encounters knockoff kind of thing where alien spacecrafts land and the team investigates. They're trying to figure out and how to communicate with them. Are they a danger? That type of thing. Well, I do like Amy Adams and I do like Jeremy Renner and I do like Forrest Whitaker. So there you go. So that might be a good movie to go see. That's a possibility. Shut In. It's a mystery slash suspense about a woman trapped in a storm, in a winter storm, has to save this young boy... Naomi Watts and Oliver Platt. Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. An Iraq war drama based on a book. Kristen Stewart. Joe Alwyn, who apparently this is like his first major role, and he's the lead in this. Ang Lee directs. See, I think that one is Oscar. Oh, I more think for you're the right. Oscar. Because yeah. it's, it's all about him as now a college football star who college or maybe even NFL I don't, I don't know it's, I don't think he's plays football but it's all about the the, 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 the promo they're gonna honor him at a football game at a halftime show oh okay so is he dead no <laughs> no but they oh. flash back oh I and, see you know they do he's all this the big, stuff he's, the he's big. a war hero I got gotcha. you and he's taking that halftime walk to be honored and he's thinking about everything uh, so it's all flashback happened. after that well or mostly I'm it, guessing. It, you know yeah November 18th, Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them, the Harry Potter prequel, which apparently is set in the U.S. It is! With Eddie Redmayne, Colin Farrell, John Voight, and apparently start of yet another new trilogy? Uh, very, very possibly. And this is loosely based on one of these little, like, almost pamphlet-type books that she put out when she was writing Harry Potter. And it's also based on, like, one of the textbooks that Harry used. Harry Potter and so the this Laundry is, List. This is a, about the guy who wrote one of the textbooks that Harry Potter uses. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and so it, are the books written for the new trilogy? Or, no, no, no there's no books oh, okay. that but, go with it. It's, but, I mean, just it's, it's so it's just references? <laughs> well, it, you know, or there's a lot of stuff pamphlet. on Pottermore yeah. about it. Ah, okay. And But, um... The, the the book that it references was never like a novel. It right. was more like a textbook. Right, right. You know, even the one that was published. But Rowling wrote it? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. I, I'm going to see this, again, probably with a book club. Ah. The Edge of Seventeen, a teen comedy in the vein of Sixteen Candles with Hallie Steinfeld, uh, Kira Sedgwick, and Woody Harrelson. Eh. November 23rd, Moana, Disney animation based on South Pacific folklore. The latest Disney princess goes on a mythical ocean adventure with Auli Cravalho, Dwayne Johnson, and Alec, Alan Tudyk doing the voice work. Yes. Bad Santa 2. Why now? Yeah. <laughs> why ever, but why, why all now? this time years later? Yeah. Billy Bob Thornton, 
Uh, Kathy Bates and Christina Hendricks. Probably because Billy Bob Thornton and Kathy Bates needed work. I'm guessing. Rules don't apply. An aspiring actress, Lily Collins, is signed up to Howard Hughes's studio. This has Warren Beatty, Alec Baldwin, Annette Bening, Ed Harris, uh, Matthew Broderick, Martin Sheen, and Ed Harris in it. We saw the trailer. It looks very good. Um, I've heard really good things about it as mm -hmm. well, so we'll probably see that. Yeah. We'll see. Allied, about an intelligence mission in World War II, Brad Pitt, Marion Cotillard, and Lizzie Kaplan, Robert Zemeckis directs. Okay. December 9th, Office Christmas Party. We gotta save the branch office with an epic party. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> that's basically the plot. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, Jason Bateman, Courtney B. Vance, and Kate McKinnon. Miss Sloan. Lobbyist Jessica Chastain is working against the or in the middle of the gun debate and puts herself at risk. Mark Strong, Sam Waterston, John Lithgow. Yeah, okay. December 16th, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Of course, this is the Chapter 4 prequel with Felicity Jones, Ben Mendelsohn, and Forrest Whitaker. You may have heard about it. I, I don't know. I... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> The Space Between Us, the first child born on Mars returns to Earth, starts a relationship with an Earth girl, Asa Butterfield, Gary Oldman, Carla Gugino. I don't understand why you put a sci-fi movie out the same weekend as Rogue One. I don't know. Maybe they're hoping for, like, the... <laughs> Maybe between the 8th and 9th, uh, you know, uh, uh... <laughs> viewings of it, people are like, well, I mean, here's a palate cleanser. I'll go see The Space Between Us, and then I'll go see... Well, my, I want to go see this, but my girlfriend wants to see a date movie? I or, or maybe it's you couldn't get in to Rogue One. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> Collateral Beauty. Man has this personal tragedy and he then retreats from life. Will Smith, Kate Winslet, Kieran Knightley, Edward Norton, Helen Mirren, uh, David Frankel directs. This is definitely, definitely. Oscar bait. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for Oscars here. Yes. December 21st, Passengers, a man and a woman on a sleeper spaceship. So this ship where you're put to sleep because it's going to take like 100 years to get somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They wake up uh, due to some technical error, mm -hmm. and they have to live their lives on the ship by themselves. Chris Pratt, Jennifer Lawrence, and then there's Michael Sheen and Lawrence Fishburne either in uh, back at Mission Control or in flashbacks, presumably. Maybe they're like recorded messages. Yeah. The two biggest actors in film right now. Yes. <laughs> I'm guessing this will make some money. Yeah. Sing. A singing competition on a world of animals. Matthew McConaughey, Seth MacFarlane, Reese Witherspoon, and Scarlett Johansson do the voices. They're already doing ads for this. Oh, Several months. It was actually during the Olympics. It was I didn't them. see those, so... December 25th, Gold, an expedition to find gold in Indonesia with Matthew McConaughey and Bryce Dallas Howard. Why Him, we've seen a preview for this. Brian Cranston's daughter is about to marry a jerk, James Franco. Actually, that looked kind of funny. <laughs> stupid funny. Yeah, stupid funny. But And finally, Fences, about life for this ex-baseball player, Denzel Washington, Viola Davis, based on an August Wilson play. So, we're going to see some of these movies. Right. But not, certainly not all of them. But certainly not all of them. And if you do go watch them, um, I hope you enjoy them. And if you don't, you should check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's go to the popcorn.